Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, at the moment, what we're gonna be organizing over the next few months is water management for our stock. Currently, what their cows are doing are drinking from here. Hard to get good help. So what we're gonna try and do is, is put a plan into to, together so that we can have a storage tank or a header tank that can gravity feed all the water stock troughs throughout the property. So what the plan is today is we're gonna put a simple little exercise in place to get water from here up there. All right, so here we are, we're back at the, the dam. Now, we need to obviously pump water from the dam to the top of the hill to fill the header tank. So what we've done is, over the last week or so, I've built this little water pump house to house all the, the water pump and, the, and everything else that goes with it. So come along and I'll give you a little tour. All right, so here we are at the water pump house. Now I was really lucky enough to um, source an old um, 300 watt solar panel. So I decided to incorporate that into the design of the pump house where I can use it as the roof to protect everything inside. Check this out. Now, we've upgraded our solar batteries from the, um, the farmhouse. So I had a few left over. And so being deep cycle and everything else, we can charge them up via the solar panel and that can then drive our 12 volt pump. So what we have here is our 12 volt um, batteries charging up our little 12 volt water pump. Now this little water pump from um, Seaflow is saying that it pumps around about 20 to 25 litres a minute, which should be ample for what we need to do to um, fill up our header tank. Now today's experiment is really going to be how much water are we going to get up there and for how long per day do I need to run it so that the, the um, stock are never out of water. Let's go through the exercise. Okay, so here we are. Now because this is all test phase, <laughs> what we've got is all my piping and everything else is a total mess at the moment and it's all surface, laying on the surface. So I want to make sure that we can actually get the water where we need to get it before we make it permanent. So what I've done is, as a part of that planning, I've got two taps. One for the header tank. And if it really, this works out really well, I'm going to turn this one into um, a feed source to fill up the chicken coop where we've got our vegetables. So during the summer, I can just top those tanks up and away we go. Let's turn it on and see how we go. All right, so our little experiment this morning is going to be, um, let's see how much volume of water we've got coming out at each section. Now we've got close to about 200 meters uphill at around about 10 meters, 15 meters, something like that as an elevation. So I wanna see the volume and time, and that's what we're gonna be looking at the most. I'll we'll turn it on and I'll go for a walk. Let's go. Check this out. We've got a lot of water already coming out for the first 50 metres. Now, what I'll do is we'll see as a volume versus time experiment to see actually how much water we do coming out. Now, I've got my, my sisters here, Mads. Have you got the stopwatch ready? Yep. On my mark, we've got a, what do we got here? A one litre jug. One, two, three, go. Stop. Four seconds, 16. Four sec seconds and 16. All right, well, let's just make that five because I'm a simple sort of fella. So that's, what have we got there? Five seconds into a minute. That's 12, so that's 12 litres a minute. Oh my God. All right. Let's go to the next one. All right, so we've come up 
the next 50 meters. So we're now at 100, 100 meters from the pump house. <coughs> and check it out. I'm so excited about this. So let's check the, the volume and the time again. Mads? Three, two, wait. Three, two, one, go. Stop. Four seconds, 69. That's the same. A bit lower, a bit higher. So, well, okay, we'll still call that five. So that's still 12 litres a minute at 100 metres. Let's go check the next one. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're now 100, 150 meters from our little water pump. Now, I would say that we're pretty, we're looking at around about maybe eight meters, about halfway. So, Mads, are we ready for the timer? Yeah, three, two, one, go. And stop. Four seconds, 75. Let's call that five seconds. That's still pumping 12 litres a minute. Oh my God, this is just ace. I love that sea flow. All right, so here we are. We're at 200 metres from the water pump. So, but check this out. <laughs> It's still pumping. All right, Matt. Are you ready? Yep. You Three, tell. two, one, go. And stop. Five seconds. Ninety-six. There we go. Five seconds, ninety-six. Let's call that six. All right. Well, that's still that's ten liters per minute at two hundred meters. And I reckon we're close to, we would be at least 10, maybe 15 metres above already. And we've still got 50 metres to go. Let's go check out the next one. All right. Now, we're pretty much at the location where I thought we would put the header tank so that we could gravity feed the water to all the stock troughs throughout the property at this point. Look at this. It is pumping like a madman. Now, are we ready for our final test mats? Yeah. All right, you tell me when. Three, two, one, go. And stop. Six seconds and 33. Six seconds, 33. So we're going to be close to about eight litres a minute. How good is that? 250 metres that way, close to about, I'm looking at it now, 15 to 20 minute, uh, metre elevation. My God. I reckon we could almost get away with running the pump about an hour a day. That's it, just to fill up the header tank. How good is that? All right, so we're back at the pump house now. Now, just to sort of recap about what we found, 250 meters that way up around about a 15 to 20 meter gradient the 51 series seaflow diaphragm pump what an awesome bit of kit now i'm confident now that i can start putting everything permanently into the ground there will be a few things that i will change and i'll do a couple of experiments just to make sure it does work I am going to put a one-way valve at the lake intake so I'm not constantly drawing all that water and I'm going to put another one at the start here somewhere too so I can actually capture all that water in that pipe and I'm not constantly having to replace it but as we start digging it in we'll film it we'll send it through and away we go I'll see you on the next one <laughs>